the, the, the real place Starting where we point. started start is like what what I'm what I'm what is hurting it might be uh, this or this and then how how do I found uh, the reasons why it's happening sometimes is it social injustice sometimes is uh, just a a, a a beautiful person that you want to have uh, to give the, 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 the power of uh, a place for its word to be listened. It's important for us is the, the investigation. What we work on very deeply in what are the, the sources more than the appearance that things have. Because like, like documentaries confuse like it's reality, but then you just take reality and you show it, and maybe it doesn't really uh, come out what really is moving the, the, the whole um, mechanism of things. So to really talk about reality, you have to try to know what really happens in the inside part of it. And that takes time. So we work out an investigation deeply enough to be sure that we're talking about what it seems the most a, a possible explanation of something we're working on. It's not uh, we make documentary, hello, welcome, goodbye. No, it's hello, welcome, and for life. And, and this, is, uh, this is how we, we work. We were not uh, together. We work together, but not engaged. And uh, this is the beginning of the story. I didn't really want to be a cinematographer. What I wanted is to, to learn, and I had too many fields that I wanted to learn about that I thought that a cinema or documentary would me, allow me to touch a bit of everything I wanted to learn about. Uh, we make the same school. I, uh, I, go, yo, I go to the cinematography part of the school. And uh, in the seven years, uh, she was uh, one year uh, older. Older, yeah. And uh, they don't have uh, enough uh, cinematographer in the school because there's very few people in, in each section. We have only nine people for cinematography, so they need a cinematographer for make one of these films in the school so in the second year. And we make together the first film, and after the second film, and after the third film, and we... We're 25 years now together. Yeah, it's what's 25 years ago. <laughs> and we're still making film every day. Together. Together. The first one was a documentary about a man in Monsieur Norbert, no? A very nice guy. Uh, is a stone carver in Belgium, and uh, with this kind of movie is 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 like the beginning of, of our mixed uh, our relationship, relationship about travel, meeting people, go deep in the character. We love to like to be free enough to work the way we want and to have found the conclusions that have been exposed to us because if you always work with somebody sometimes they want you to tell something and we don't like that we want to be free enough to to be able to to go at the end of what our impressions or our heart takes us i've worked a lot um in confidence. I've had to sometimes change the whole film that I was working on it just because the confidence was given to me. So uh, I believe really deeply in the, in, the, in the relationship you establish with someone you're working with. First I thought cinema works from the moment I projected to the other people and the feedbacks I could get off. Now I know for me it works also in the way I work with. So I'm working now with, in some cases, in a way, I'm working even where, when I'm editing, for example, I show uh, uh, what I'm working on and sometimes they want to correct something they have said or not with everybody, but the person, the principal characters, for example, I want to have 
the, the way to exchange um, what we have to say. In, so um, I don't really don't want distance. I need a country to be able to 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 listen and 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 open my heart and his heart or her heart, so we can communicate. And in the moment the start the communication starts, that's what it is important. When it stops, then it hurts, and then it's difficult, and then we, we have to work it out again. But um, the, the the real distance I need is in the moment I edit it, and then I work with somebody. So so it will help me not to get too involved, but not in the in the work work creating the per, the personage the personage no creating the character because when we show somebody in the in the film it's just a character it doesn't. But the person I work with, it's a human being. So <laughs> to, to, to go through that, that level, that's the, that's the point. To be able to choose together what is going to be the character they want to show. This is not a kind of objective true. It's you kind of uh, it's point, of view. point of view. So it's the same than, than fiction. Not to, not to be there is just try to... To, for us, no, in a way, not to be or not to show that you're there is just a way to, to hide the fact that you are in a given point of view. Al señor Reagan, hay algo que no nos gusta y no nos gusta que nos amenace. Anterior films was uh, Cuba, the value of Utopia. It was a film we began in '91. We met uh, in a conference in Brussels when we, '91. We just was finishing the film school, and we go to a conference in a, a book library about a Cuban poet. It was Felix Felix Contreras. And uh, we met him in the in the library, and after uh, we met, make friend, and he come to the house to eat, and we begin shooting Super 8 this night, and we finish in 2007. I come from a a, a moment of uh, history where a were revolutions were everywhere we had every latin america was was uh, what had a lot of of uh, tyrants or people having power with uh, with strength over others no and like in that moment historically for students in in the universities or cuba was like a a different kind of vision of what could it socially be a uh, another project which would engage capitalism so I thought I was dreaming about what what this project could be so when we got we got we were invited in to, to go to Cuba when we were almost finished our our school we got married and my father invited us to, to go to Cuba it was our wedding gift <laughs> and we got there and we found like a confrontation between what was the the, the dream of uh, students about what was Cuba and what was really happening. So we started to 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 film and to try to understand better. And I think it's again one of the motivations was what is happening here. We really believed and I still believe that it was like a laboratory, a social laboratory. We wanted to understand. So this this project of Cuba, which is a kind of a life project, is about utopias. How it, utopias begin, how they expand, and how they develop in, in sometimes another way. I really believe that in a way to be pushed forward, we really have to believe in in the the, the possibility to to do it to better have hope. and have hope in. Um, and even though it, it could be difficult, I don't know, even though we'll, sometimes we think we have been disconnected with life, it's the best moment to be sure you have to reconnect yourself and go forward. Anyway.
in, in, in believe that it could be better. Cuba always creates people going in two directions and always it has to be black and white. And it's so heavy to, to try to be a bridge. So what we tried with this film is try to be a bridge. And, and it's always a heavy duty. <laughs> but we believe more than ever that there have to be bridges all over the world. <laughs> so we can really dialogue. Yo, Isabel de Godán, intentando encontrar un camino que me lleve a Europa. Solo he encontrado muerte, peste y desolación. No existe la ciudad luz, solo existe mi cuerpo. Patria de adobes que me abandona. Tanto es el precio que hay que pagar para dejar de ser una misma. Working on a film which is called Yo Isabel, so or being Isabel, and uh, we start this film like uh, in '95. '95, '92, '95. Yo Isabel de Godán, casada con Jean Godán, que solía medir el mundo y nunca supo medir la distancia que separaba su pensamiento de mi corazón. Declaro que Europa no existe y que estamos solos en medio del camino. Nunca alcanzaremos la ciudad de las luces y nunca podremos retornar a la casa de nuestros padres. I'm always like thinking that that like someone says in my film, woman has always been forgotten in history. There are no histories of the stories of, of women making great adventures or it's very very few in in Latin America. In that moment. It, uh, what happens this story ha nobody has heard about a woman that would have traveled from one ocean to the other world ocean crossing through the Ma Amazon N nobody has any idea Ecuadorians don't know and if this story has go through is because she was married married with a man that um, came in a mission here, which is the Misión Geodésica Francesa, that w they were sent in Ecuador to measure the one part of the quadrante of the earth. And one of these men wants to tell the story that, that w of what she lived. If not, nobody would know, because the, it's like the adventure is just for men. So when I found that this story, I think it's great. It's a great story to be told. Uh, how far can women go when on pers pursuing their dream? No sé cuánto tiempo estuvo en la selva. No se sé, no se puede saber cómo subsistió. Dice el relato de Juan Godín que con frutas silvestres, en la selva tenía también plantas espinosas que creo que las, le lastimaron las manos, el cuerpo. Tigre, tigre se come grandota, negro, tigre negro come gente. In a way, the, it's my way to make a, a statement about what has what's gone what what the uh, what the the the, hum, the feminine part of the of the earth has to say in women but also in nature and a lot of things that i think today have to be heard The most strong moment in the, the travel we've made up to now, for me, and I think for both maybe in a way, was the moment we start traveling through the Amazons, Amazon River, and 
realizing how huge and incredible force powerful powerful was the nature and where we were absolutely nothing like just small 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 little not even ants in the middle of this huge forest and we think we really can control nature and it's so 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 in our heads uh, this ethnocentrism where we think we can uh, walk over that what really was the most special moment is the connection with the nature and really realizing that there are lots of other kind of worlds living in this mem same planet than the humans and and that we are not listening when Isabel crosses uh, the Amazonia, in a way she is in a kind of victim of this nature. Today, the nature is victim of us. And in the dialogue of the two moments of history, in a, just 250 years, 350 years, there is a lot of things to be said and lots of, 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 of points to be made. Yo, Isabel Gramezón, francesa española de padre. Voy detrás de tus raíces, quizá las mías. Hija soy también de la raza que conquistó este territorio, de esos que sometieron a sus dueños hasta avergonzarlos de su pasado. Llevo en mi sangre el más grande exterminio. Dividida estoy porque siento el demonio de una sangre que se impone a la otra. Y ambas dentro de mí y ambas desconocidas. Yes, it's a lot of people in the boat. We meet people in the forest. We meet people in the hospital. And 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 it's what I like in the documentary. I I do. I am director of photography too. So I do feature films. And you have the storyboard and everything. And everything is here. So no magic. But in documentary we we meet a woman. We meet, we know another woman, and the other woman uh, have a big problem with his husband, who is a Peruvian woman refugee in Brazil, and his uh, in, his husband is in the jail because they say something. And ten minutes later, we have speaking with the judge, and with the judge we come inside the problem of justice, and it's it's a, like a fractal of you you uh, you are. Uh, Projected. You project it in other world, in other thematic, every time. So this is the, the magic of documentary in sometimes. Sometimes nothing happened. Mm -hmm. It's part of the... And when you never expected, then it suddenly comes a, a huge gift and you just follow uh -huh. that gift and then... But when the gift is coming, it's wow. La, 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 la Laura. Hello. We come to an old Tikuna woman and we come and Yanara is a good feeling for characters, and we, this is woman is wow. We come and he say, "I am very old. My grandmother tell me all the story of her people, and I have to say this to to. Have to. I have to pass. tell past yes. and tell, and I will tell you. So listen to me." So I sat down okay. and we worked Let's go. with her for two, two days. days and we heard and non -stop. heard and heard and heard. And All I the story of his question. ancestor from the, from the creation of the, of the world uh, to the extermination of all his family in the, in the river of the English people in the jungle with the river. They kill all the family in 1920. The couch. Uh, in the epoch of the couch oh. and everything, everything. And, and what's a gift? We, we liked it, Isabel's story because she faces really the the the, the Amazonia. La Amazonia, I think, is the the heart in this moment of our world. They say the lungs, but I really believe it's the, it's where it really lives and lives a lot of other species than ours, where we don't really yet have all control. So is this 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 living incredible? Uh, life is life is life and she has to go through this Isabel de Godin atraviesa 
físicamente la geografía lo vive, lo come, se lo revuelca en la tierra y se lo huele en el aire. Toda esta travesía que hace para encontrarse con quien le espera. Y ahora, nosotros, ¿cómo vivimos? Una aventura así. ¿Cómo somos nuevamente los nómadas en la tierra? Violentos. De un día para otro estamos en otro lugar. Tenemos una noticia inmediato. Sabemos todo inmediato. Pero no sabemos si sabemos. Solo sabemos qué pasa. We, we really believe in the process. It's not just about taking out a film in, in the show, in a, how we call it, theatrically. It's, it's about living the film we're doing. So time, it's always over us. That doesn't change. But the point is how conscious you are in the moment you live, the moment you live. So when I'm here with you, I'll give you the whole I can about. You know, and then I have to move over and then I'll go something el for something else, but try to keep my attention as much as I, I, I can in what I'm living that moment. And, and so I try to take the best from the moment up to the second moment and the next moment, because if not, I'm always the path, I'm always run over. And now even more because all this technology that pushes you to be as fast as give the answer uh, fast and and it's never you never have enough time but you really do have the time of your life and you if you 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 take the best of that moment in your life then what else what else <laughs>